Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we'll do assemble the smartphone Infinix Zero X Pro. At the very beginning, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the car tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. And after that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. After 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to the assembly. To detach the back cover, we will use a plastic film. It can be a protective film from a new display or a plastic film from the stationary store. We insert the film into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise, cutting off the adhesive base. And we open the back cover, we have nothing on the cover. After that, we need to unscrew the screws at the top. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash the wall. Please not that the screws are different from each other in size, color and shape. So we recommend that place them on a special surface in an easy to remember order so that you don't confuse anything when reassembling. You can also take a picture of the screws before unscrewing them. If the screws get stuck in the cover, we can use tweezers. Then we can detach the cover hiding the motherboard. Gently hook the edge in the right place and leave the cover. It is strange, of course, but we have the cover detached with a large rear camera. After that, we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same. 1.5 mm Phillips. The screws are also different from each other, so we need to tell you again that we recommend that you place the screws on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly and they can also be photographed before unscrewing. And if the screws get stuck, we use tweezers. And we remove the small cover hiding the connector along with a stuck screw. Ok, I have no idea where the cable goes from this connector. So we disconnect the connector and bend the cable so it doesn't get in the way. Now we need to disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the small antenna board and pull out the part of the cable from the indentation in the cover. So we can try to detach the loudspeaker cover. We find the right and convenient place to hook the cover and try to lift it off. This cover is glued on one side, we need to lift it carefully and not to damage anything. It is hard to see if it is the original adhesive or not that holds the cover on. We carefully detach the cover. Well, in this cover are located the loudspeaker and the small antenna board. 
Then we disconnect the connectors on the motherboard and subboard and remove the interboard cable. After that, we disconnect the coaxial cable connector and we need to remove one screw securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same Philips 1.5 mm and the screw is also different from the previous ones. To remove the subboard, we need to first detach the vibration motor because the contact area on the vibration motor on this model comes from the top, unlike all the others. We hook the vibration motor by the base and carefully unglue it. And now we can easily remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and headset jack port. And we move on to disconnecting the display connector on the motherboard. And we also disconnect the two connectors of the coaxial cables and release the cables themselves from the clips, fixing them on the motherboard. We can also peel off the copper heat dissipating coating on the front camera. We will remove the camera later. Then we detach the second rear camera and put it aside. And we can unscrew the screw securing the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same 1.5 mm Philips screwdriver. The screws are also different from the previous ones, so it is really important not to mix them up when reassembling. This model has a lot of screws that are different from each other. Finally, we can detach the motherboard. We also need to find the right place where we can hook it and lift it up. As we can see, the motherboard is held in the rear camera area. We need to carefully detach the rear camera from the display frame. And we can leave the motherboard, see that there is nothing in the way and remove and turn over the printed circuit board. Now we have to detach the front and rear cameras. But be extremely careful not to get thermal pest on the lenses when removing the cameras. And we detach the front camera. So this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.